Hi there, I'm Emily Milstein with the Gulf of Mexico Fishery Management Council, and this is a public hearing video designed to gather your comments on a framework action that considers two separate issues, updating the red snapper calibrations and updating gray snapper or mangrove snapper catch limits. So as I mentioned, the council is interested in hearing your feedback on two separate issues, the red snapper private recreational data calibrations and gray snapper catch limits. The issues have been combined into this one document because they're both on the same timeline to completion. So we'll start with red snapper. The recreational red snapper sector is divided into two components. There's the federal for hire component and the private angling component, which was what we're going to talk about today. So each Gulf state is allocated a portion of the private angling annual catch limit. Then they're responsible for setting management measures for private anglers landing in their state. Each Gulf state also has their own recreational monitoring program. Each one of those programs is unique and they do not produce results that are directly comparable to one another or to the federal estimates that are generated using MRIP CHTS, or the Marine Recreational Information Program's Coastal Household Telephone Survey. So current red snapper catch limits, which include the overfishing limit, acceptable biological catch, and annual catch limits, are set using that federal data program, MRIP. State landings need to be calibrated so that they can be compared to one another, and also so that they are in that federal MRIP CHTS data units for quota monitoring purposes. Recently, the Gulf states worked together with the Council Scientific Statistical Committee and came up with new calibration ratios based on contemporary or more recent data. This table will show you a comparison of the current ratios that are being used and then the modified ratios that are being proposed. So the council is considering action just to update the state-specific private angling component calibration ratios and annual catch limits to provide a more accurate estimate of state landings for red snapper management. We need to do this to make sure that we improve management of red snapper, including more contemporary state private recreational landings data. So we have a pretty simple choice here. This is action one. And our first alternative is the no action alternative. That would retain the current state private recreational data calibration ratios for Mississippi, Alabama, and Florida. Or we could choose alternative two, which would update state private recreational data calibration ratios of red snapper for Mississippi, Alabama, and Florida using that contemporary data. And this table will show you a comparison of the two. So now we'll move on to gray snapper or mangrove snapper catch limits. The most recent stock assessment, which was CDAR 75, was completed in 2022. It included new recreational landings data from the federal MRIP FES program. That stock assessment estimated that the stock is not overfished, nor is it experiencing overfishing as of the year 2020. So the council's scientific advisors, the Scientific and Statistical Committee, reviewed the assessment and recommended two things. They recommended that the overfishing limit continue to be set using the yield at the fishing mortality associated with 26% spawning potential ratio, and to set the ABC by continuing to use 75% of fishing mortality at 26% spawning potential ratio. So the council is now obligated to update catch levels based on the recommendations of the SSC and to produce catch advice using that new MRIP FES data unit. So we're here to update the gray snapper catch limits, including the overfishing limit, acceptable biological catch, annual catch limit, and annual catch targets based on the most recent stock assessment. And we need to do this to be consistent with the best scientific information available, including the most recent projections for yield and using that private recreational data from MRIP FES. So we have three possible alternatives for this action two. Our first alternative is the no action alternative, and that would retain our current catch levels in MRIP CHTS data units. And it would use an 11% buffer between the ABC and the ACL. This is not a legally viable alternative because it does not use the most recent best scientific information available.
Alternative two would update catch limits based on the recommendations of the Scientific and Statistical Committee for the years 2021 through 2028, and it would set an 8% buffer between the ABC and the ACL using that ACL-ACT control rule. So you can notice that we've got a changing yield stream as time progresses. So alternative three would update catch limits based on advice from the Scientific and Statistical Committee. However, it would use a five-year average to set a constant catch. This would also use an 8% buffer between the ABC and the ACL using that ACL-ACT control rule. So we would like to hear your thoughts before taking final action on this document. You can do that by submitting comments online using this link, or you can simply email us at golfcouncil at golfcouncil.org. The council expects to take final action on this during its June meeting in Mobile, Alabama. So I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this video and send us your thoughts.